Welcome to the Wolfman Gardening Channel. Today, we're gonna to explore the fascinating parts of a cucumber plant. Now, I told you in the previous video that I would break down a cucumber plant. So let's get started and let's dive right into it. The main stem is essential for transporting water, nutrients, and energy throughout the plant. All right, this is the main stem. It's long, slender, and it serves as the primary support. Although it's green and flexible, it can also become very woody as it matures. The nodes are where the leaves and the tendrils all come out and they're attached, while the inner node is everything in between. Next, we have the leaves. Cucumber leaves are large, heart-shaped, and they really have a really rough texture. They got tiny little hairs. I don't know if you can see the little hairs on there, those tiny little hairs on the surface, but they play a critical role in the photosynthesis, converting sunlight into energy for your plant. You'll also hear these called as uh, the sun leaves. The leaves also help in the gas exchange and the water regulation through small openings called the stomata. Let's take a look at these amazing tendrils. Tendrils are slender and they're spirally structures that help the cucumber climb and support itself. And you'll see they emerge from, these, from the nodes of the stem and they reach out, they attach to almost everything here. But these things can be very flexible, but they are very easily broken, but they're very vital in order to provide support for climbing or vining these plants. All right, well these secondary stems, this is what I'm talking about, the secondary stems. It grows in between on the axis of the main leaf and the main stem, you'll get these suckers that come out. And these suckers, all you know, they will grow their own leaves, their own fruit, their own tendrils. And if you'll look at this one above it right here, look above it right here, this one right here, this one here is actually a sucker that I let grow. So, but if you're going to trim these, you need to trim them early stages, trim them right at the base of the armpit here, and you can trim those. And a lot of people will trim those because while, while they can increase the plant's foliage and fruiting capacity, we often will prune these in order to focus the plant's energy on the main stem and primary fruits. When these are young, like this here, this would be the time that you would want to prune some of your suckers. That way it'll focus the growth on the main stem. And then as it gets bigger, then you can let them fruit out. And finally, we have the cucumber or the fruit. There are two types of flowers that usually grow on a cucumber plant one being the male and one being the female. The male flower will not have a fruit in front of it and the female flower will have a fruit in front of it. And it's usually attached at what's called the armpit. In order for pollination to happen, a bee, butterfly, or other, some other type of pollinator would have to come transfer the pollen from the male flower to the female flower in order to get pollination for your cucumber to actually grow. The fruit is usually small, or the fruit is usually followed by a small flower, little yellow flower. This is the female flower and develops the fruit after it's been pollinated. So let's see if we can find a small female flower. Okay, this right here is a female flower. You see the flower here and what looks like a small fruit on the bottom side here. That is this uh, female flower. Now if you'll look right here, this would be a male flower because if you'll notice, it doesn't have a fruit on the back side of it. And once they get pollinated, they'll start to look like this guy here. They'll start looking like this one here. The little flower starting to die off. And then as it grows, it will keep growing and then finally 
you reach the cucumber stage, which you can pick. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you want to keep picking and harvesting these cucumbers before they turn yellow or they turn a light orange. Because once these fruits turn yellow or orange, it sends a message to the main stem that it has produced its seed. Therefore, your cucumber plant, it will slowly start to die off because it's gotten the message that it's produced another it's produced another life, so and it will die. So in order to keep harvesting these cucumbers, make sure you give them plenty of water, plenty of sun, and give them some shade from this extreme heat conditions, and you should be able to produce cucumbers well into late summer. So every part of the cucumber plant, from the main stem to the fruit, plays a vital role in the growth and reproduction. By understanding these parts, we can better appreciate and care for our amazing cucumber plants. Now, like, follow, share. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your comments down in the bottom. And like always, keep it growing.